Well, we are looking ahead to a bunch of changes over the next few days, especially with the warm up tomorrow and then those heavy showers and storms that will be moving through on Thursday. High stay in the 70s and then it's going to feel pretty good by Friday as those storms move out. Uh, but we have to deal with that threat for potential severe weather as well as some gusty winds. A wind, uh, wind advisory is out for the mountains, not the upstate, but it will be still pretty breezy in the upstate as well. Sustained winds will be anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour in the mountains starting tomorrow afternoon. Gusts could be even higher than that, up to 50 miles an hour. So. It might not even be a thunderstorm that causes trees to go down in the higher terrain. Something to really think about uh, if you've got stuff in the backyard, you want to secure it because those winds will be picking up. It's 58 right now in Greenville, 50 in Asheville, 53 for you in Greenwood and 49 in Brevard. Tonight will be down to 45 with clouds on the increase and 41 in Western North Carolina. So chilly for the start of the day. You'll still want the jacket, but you won't need it long as we start to warm up quite a bit. And we're watching out to the west as our system is starting to take shape. We've had some severe weather through Kansas and Oklahoma, and we'll continue that threat into tomorrow. In fact, it's going to be a big one as we head into the day tomorrow, right around the state of Mississippi, parts of Alabama. This is where all of the ingredients are lining up here. We're seeing that reddish pink color uh, where we'll likely see a tornado outbreak tomorrow. Uh, the good news for us as this line continues to push eastbound, it's going to hit an area that's not so favorable for storms. It's going to be moving into our area in the morning time when there's just not a whole lot of energy for those storms to access. During the day Thursday, we remain on a low end risk for severe weather. The green, it's a marginal risk. It's level one out of five. Doesn't mean there's not going to be severe weather, but it just means the likelihood of seeing widespread activity is low. And you can see the yellows around us. There'd be a little heightened activity in Georgia and also up in North Carolina and Virginia. So let's map it all out. Tomorrow, cloudy, but not much rain expected. You might get a sprinkle or two in the mountains, but main event will hold off until late Wednesday night. This is 8 p.m. Still not a whole lot happening, but there's 4 a.m. Now the rain is moving in. Now it's still not going to be on top of the upstate yet, but by the time we get towards 6, 7, 8 o'clock, that's when we're going to have some very heavy downpours all over the upstate. This leading line here could still pack some strong wind, but by the time it arrives here, the chances of getting a lot of severe weather will be very, very low. So that's a really good thing. Something we'll have to watch, though, as any redeveloping storms as we go toward the middle part of the day. If it starts to warm up, we could get some stronger storms. Damaging wind would be the primary threat. And then into the afternoon, once we clear out, there'll still be a little bit of energy. It might spark off a few stray showers and maybe even a thunderstorm. So we'll really have to watch through the afternoon. But by around 7 p.m. in the evening, we should be in the clear on Thursday. And our threat levels are going to stay on the lower end for pretty much all things here. But a wind will be the highest threat, bringing it close to a moderate uh, threat. And overall, it's going to be a windy day, even without the thunderstorms and a low end threat for tornadoes. But again, something we'll watch closely uh, because if storms do get going in the afternoon, they'll have an environment supportive of those tornadoes. But most of the activity will be in the morning, and that should keep us a little bit safer. Into the weekend looks mostly dry mid 60s on the way in the mountains or excuse me in the upstate. We'll be looking at a good chance of showers and some storms early Thursday afternoon. We clear out but can't completely rule out a couple more thunderstorms developing and then by Friday mostly sunny and we'll carry that weather into the weekend. Just a slight chance of a shower late on a Saturday. Of course, you'll want to check in with the morning news from 430 to 10 a.m. Meteorologist Brian Bachman will have the latest model data from overnight and can get you set up with that hour by hour forecast.